Welcome to Mastering Solutions. So this is another chameleon problem that they give us, and they tell us that obviously they use their tongues to catch nearby insects. They tell us that this chameleon, the tiny rosette nose chameleon, has the highest acceleration of a body part for any amnio ever measured. They tell us that when we measure the tongue, it goes from a portion where it accelerates and then a portion where it goes at a constant speed. And so they want us to figure out how long the acceleration phase is, and then they want us to figure out what the total distance is traveled by the tongue. So let's write down the variables that they give us. They say that the initial velocity starting from rest is zero meters per second. The acceleration, they say, is the astounding 2,500 meters per second squared. The final velocity that it comes up to, so V final, is 5 meters per second. And then they say that it continues for the second section, so I'll put this down here. The T is 22 milliseconds, which is the same as 22. Milli stands for times 10 to the negative 3 seconds. So now this is in standard units as well. So to solve for the first section, we can use the kinematic equation V final is equal to V initial plus acceleration times time. We're obviously trying to solve for the T and we said that the initial velocity is zero. So let's divide both sides by acceleration. So time is simply equal to the final velocity divided by the acceleration. The final velocity we said was five meters per second and we'll divide it by the acceleration of 2,500. So we have 0 0.002 seconds. So 0 0.002 seconds and we could change that if they want it. We have one, two, three. So it's two times 10 to the third, negative three seconds or another way of saying it is two milliseconds. This is an intermediate step, so it doesn't really matter which one we use. A lot of times I'll plug in this one, it's a little faster in the calculator. So this is the answer for part A though, on how long does the acceleration phase last? However, mastering physics asks for it, plug that in, but two milliseconds simply is the answer. Now let's go to the second part, or part B is what is the total distance that's traveled by the chameleon's tongue? There's several ways that we could go about this because we have quite a bit of information. We've solved for the time for the first section and they gave us the time for the second section. So we could find a kinematic equation that includes time if we want. The one that I'll use actually doesn't include time but it will still give us the same answer. So we have V final squared is equal to V initial squared plus two times the acceleration times delta X. So the initial velocity is zero, so that can be gone. So V final squared is equal to two A times the delta X. Now what we're trying to solve for is the delta X. So let's divide both sides of the equation by two A, two A. So we have delta X is equal to the final velocity squared divided by two times the acceleration. So the final velocity we said was five meters per second. We'll square that whole value and divide it by two times the acceleration of 2,500 meters per second squared. So five squared divided by two times 2,500 gives us the total distance of 0 0.005, 0.005 meters because we had all this in standard units we can convert that if we would like one two three so that is the same as five times ten to the negative three meters or five millimeters so here are the answers the total distance traveled was five millimeters and the total time for the acceleration phase was two milliseconds